Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Oh welcome if you're new. I'm Cora and today we are back in Creative Sim creating a passionate astrologer. Now if you're interested in any of the CC you can find that in the description down below either on my Tumblr or on a Google Doc. And if you're interested in downloading the sim she is available on the gallery under the hashtag the Sympanions or my gallery ID is also the Sympanions which is linked down below as well well and yeah that's <laughs> that's it about the formalities uh, they always have to cover that in the beginning but let's get into her backstory a little bit now I have to say she is a gorgeous sim I don't know something about her just like kind of draws me in I think it might be the eyes I love that eye color I think green eyes are absolutely beautiful obviously every eye color is beautiful but I think green is very rare my mother actually has green eyes and I have like hazel but with age they're getting more and more green which is really interesting like when I was a child they were literally almost black they were super super dark and then they just kind of like gotten more and more green and I think in some lighting they actually don't really look brown anymore which is very interesting I think eyes are so interesting I never knew that the color can change like the eye color can change so much but uh, yeah, what eye color do you have and has it always been the same? I'm curious to hear that. I know that a lot of people who have like blue eyes um, tend to get greenish eyes in certain lighting as well. So um, if that's you, let me know. <laughs> I'm interested in your eye color. <laughs> but anyways, I believe she is an astrologer. I actually gave her a tattoo of all of the like different moon phases because I thought that was a little fitting and cute. Um, yeah, I, I actually love the moon. I think it's so pretty and it's... I, I'm actually I feel so stupid saying this but until a few years ago I didn't realize the moon like you could always see the moon if it was light or dark <laughs> and I feel like such a dumb dumb but <laughs> someone's told I think it was actually my boyfriend we're walking there and he's like oh look the moon's out and I was like oh that's so weird but it's like daylight I guess I've never looked for it in the daylight and it's not as like obvious that it's there but I felt so dumb I was like oh my god how embarrassing <laughs> that I didn't realize you can always see the moon um yeah <laughs> my bad <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um, yeah th with that embarrassing story um, put to the side <laughs> Let's actually get into her story. So I think she's very fascinated by star signs and stuff like that, you know. And I do believe that she has studied something like along those lines. I don't really know what there is that you could study at universities that goes towards astrology. Like I do know that you can study astronomy, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe she studied physics or something like that. But she's obviously more on like the spiritual side of things planets you know um she's not she's not a scientist like well i mean i guess do you say it's a science i don't know because i guess because it's not 100 percent like pr proven to be true you know star signs are just like a theory i guess so i don't know if they call themselves scientists actually um i would i would say maybe it's like a more like a spiritual thing i don't know <laughs> um but yeah i do believe that she does like readings maybe with people and maybe she writes um, a few things for newspapers, maybe she wrote her own book, like, it's just something about her where I think that she actually does make a lot of money, I think she is pretty career-driven, um, and she's just found her passion, you know, that's why she's called Passionate Astrologer, obviously, <laughs> because I thought she's very into it, you know, I think she really believes it's true, and I actually feel like she's lost a few friends, and I think she's not the closest to her family anymore because I think they think it's all BS um, I don't think they believe in star signs and I think they've always kind of um, made her believe that she's crazy which is not nice like if you don't believe in something someone else believes in I, I like it just don't talk about it I guess so like I mean you can still listen to it you know because I by no means am religious but I would never call someone crazy for being religious you know it's like <laughs> personal choice what you believe in um, and I actually think astrology personally I think it's so interesting I'm not I don't I don't know if I believe in it. It's just crazy if you... Because I don't know how much you know about it. I feel like it's been a big trend lately. Um, and I know that my parents, um, my mom definitely is like super into it. And like she's got birth charts for us. Like they, she's got them from a friend of hers when we were babies. You know, it's all very like <laughs> funny. So I was definitely brought up with it. But 
I don't know if I 100% believe in it. It's just crazy if you actually read what's in your birth chart and stuff like that. Well, I couldn't read it because I don't know enough about it. But there's people who can analyze it and tell you what it means, you know, because you don't just have one star sign you know there's like multiple ones depending on where all of the planets were during the time of your birth and i mean i wouldn't find it super crazy if the planets have an effect on you and your character because i i guess you know even the moon does like there's a lot of people who don't sleep well when there's a full moon and some people claim it's because of like how light it is but I live in Berlin, so like a capital city, and I don't believe it's ever really dark here, and I still sleep very badly when there's a full moon, and I don't even know, you know, I talk to someone two days after, or someone might be like, oh, I had such a bad night's sleep that night, and someone's like, oh, me too, and then you look it up, and you're like, oh, it was a full moon, you know, so I think it's really interesting how, like, some stuff has, like, really big effects on you, and um, I just think it's interesting, you know, if you actually look at all of your different star signs combined I think it's very crazy it's a very at least mine like when I read it because there's websites where you can just put in your date and um, time of birth and the stuff it writes about me is actually crazy because I think if you just look at your star sign you know um, it's uh, I don't know it's not very I wouldn't say it's that accurate you know I'm a Scorpio and some things are true but some aren't so a lot of people that don't believe in astrology I think they're like straight away like oh yeah it's bullshit like in w whichever star sign you look at there will be something that fits you you know but if you get really deep into it and you actually get like your um your other signs like I don't know what they're called Neptune <laughs> sign I'm so bad with it like don't know what it all translates to in English as well but there's like all the different signs that you have and if you look at all of them there's like descriptions that you can read through about yourself I guess um, and it's very scarily accurate you know like when I read it I was like oh holy you know that's it sounds like me in like one of my clearest moments I guess <laughs> it has written this about my personality you know and it's not all good stuff which I think in star signs a lot of times it's like all good stuff so you'd be like drawn to it and you're like oh yeah that's me that's perfect you know but there's also some dirty stuff like where you're like oh yeah damn I, I guess I do do this or I do feel like this and it's very crazy because it feels like someone's taken all of your secrets and put them down and then you can just read it and you're like okay this is scarily accurate so um, I mean it can all be coincidence but who knows um <laughs> let me know if you believe in astrology and what of these outfits were your favorite because i actually really really love her party wear but um yeah if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you have not already and i will see you all next time bye